Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hearts and Family Farms. Today, I had a viewer request how to, how do I run a, K, a grain cart with a case tractor? How do we run our grain cart tractors? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys how we run them. So, let's stop. First off, right now I'm in the case, Steiger 400 HD. All the grain cart tractors, New Holland T8050, both on Brent 82 gray, 8200 series grain carts. We got an 882. 1082. So I'm gonna show you guys how to run it. So I'm gonna snap back to two nights ago where I was running the, the New Holland T8050. Let's snap back and show how you run that. Alrighty guys, I had a, someone request to do have me do a video on how to unload on a grain cart on these two tractors that we have. So I'm gonna do the New Holland T8050 first because that's what I'm running today. So I have the eight Brent 882 grain cart which has got three hydraulic functions. It's got the main auger. Whoa, I don't, can't see anything and I won't be able to see anything. There we go. It's got the main auger in the green that brings the main auger up and down. It's got the gate, which is in the blue, which basically controls how much flow is going through into the auger. And it's got the white, which is controls your spout, which basically helps you, um, without moving, can change the flow of the grain. And the brown does nothing. Then my yellow is PTO. That's just how I turn that on. Then it's just throttle. That's all it is. It's pretty simple, guys. So I'll show you guys how I do it. Auger turn it, auger turn it on. There it goes. Speed it up a little bit. Open my flow gate. I'm gonna take her easy because I want to try and top off this truck. That's all I'm doing. Basically, I'm just running the throttle, moving it up as soon as the pile gets up close enough. Then I just move my spout, open my gate some more because I'm in the back hopper, which is already almost full. I'm basically just inching forward as soon as it gets, I don't like to get it above the, the tarp, tarp straps because that makes the tarp hard to close. You see it's crowned a little bit, but that crown will come down as soon as Cletus moves it all. And like I said, these are automatic tarps. So we basically get out on the road and then we tarp it. But he is gonna have a very full load. Yes, this is legal. In Iowa right now we have a harvest overage. We basically we can have 10% more than what we legally can carry normally. So for us it's going to be 88,000 because we norm legally can carry 80,000 normally. Now I just shut my gate, which is kind of the flow control there. You can see it going up, going down. Just to try and get this truck as full as possible and I'll speed it up to try and get as much grain out so I don't lose any. And there we go, slow it down, shut it off, and I'm good to go. That's all it is. It's how you unload a grain cart in the New Holland T8050. Alrighty, so now you know how to run the T8050, I'll show you guys how to run the case. So this is an articulated tractor. When you move the steering wheel, everything moves. You kind of see. So it's a little trickier how to load a cart, but it's really the same thing, same controls. So we got three levers. The first one, the first one is our uh, our hydraulic spout. So it's move the spout back and forth, or the entire auger, I should say. This third one is our gate, which controls the flow, and this fifth one is our spout, which brings it back and forth. That's all it is to it. PTO is right here. Then you just speed up your RPMs with this thing and gears and then you drive it like a normal tractor. Get it into, out of park like this and forward and stuff like that is like that. So, all right, I'll show you guys how to do it. 
Alrighty guys, I'm gonna put the tractor in gear just like that. And I'm gonna start my PTO. See the light turns on. Oh, they're spinning. I look back, everything's spinning. Speed up my RPMs to like 1300. And I'm gonna start my flow gate, which is right here. You guys can see the little gate in the back moving. We should start to see corn come out. That's all there is to it. Now I'll cut to when it's when it's finished and when it's dumped. That's all there is to it. I'll shift it in forward, pull it out of the way. And we're good to go. So really it's not that different between the two carts. And I'll push this thing forward. We'll start to drop the auger, as you can see. So that's how that auger moves on that grain cart. It's just a single hydraulic cylinder pushes it up and down. That's all it is. So it's really not that different how to run both carts. It just takes some time getting used to how to run both tractors. Just because like I said, this is an articulated tractor. It's a lot longer, you sit up tall. I prefer running this car. Then you got the blue tractor, which is like a conventional tractor. Which is much easier to drive, but you sit up a lot, you sit down lower. That's all it is to it. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hartung Family Farms. 
And of course, as always, ta-ta for now.